Can Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs flip five-star quarterback target Julian Lewis? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. In fact, I'm going to talk about that and a whole lot more. This is a juicy, juicy video if you're looking for the latest Georgia Bulldog recruiting scoop. Of course, several five-stars were in Athens on Thursday to watch Georgia's second spring practice. And of course, a few of them said, i got to tell Dog Post. i got to go tell Matt DeBerry the latest, how my visit was, how it went, where Georgia sits in my recruitment. So we got the scoop. Actually, we got most of the scoop on Dog Post. We got some of the scoop here. But I want to make sure y'all head over to the website because I'm basically just reading a lot of the story that's already on the website. I'm not going to give every detail because you got to read the story. But basically, I'm going to talk about you know what I've been hearing after uh, what has become a very successful recruiting weekend behind the scenes. But I reached out to Julian Lewis, the number nine overall prospect in the country, the number two quarterback prospect in the country. Again, this kid's elite. He's committed to Southern Cal, was back in Athens again. Kids been going to Athens his entire life for visits. But this was a big one, and he explained why. He said, you know, the past couple of years, my visits to Georgia have changed a lot. When I go now, it's guys that I've grown up with, and I'm seeing them out there practicing. Watching K.J. Bolden and Sokovi White compete was really fun. They both look really good. I went to meetings and then hung out with Coach Bobo, Coach Montgomery, Coach Streeter. Those are some offensive analysts analyst type of assistants on the offensive side of the ball if you don't know who they are. He said, I was able to speak with those guys after practice for a while. I've known all three of them for a long, long time, so it's really relaxed. Of course, Lewis, through his first two years at Carrollton, has thrown for 7,212 yards, 96 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. The kid's unbelievable. He's not the biggest guy, and he's not the fastest guy, but he understands the quarterback position, he's accurate, he's got great arm talent, he's fundamentally sound, he's got great footwork, he's got vision, he can see the field, he can read defense, the ball placement is there, the production is there, the potential is easy to see. This kid skipped a grade, moved forward, and he's enrolling early. So Julian Lewis will have spent more years in middle school, three, than he will in high school, which is two and a half. He's enrolling early, and he's reclassifying. So dude's going to be in high school for two and a half years, basically, before he gets to college. Now, from what I'm hearing behind the scenes, Georgia's still in a good spot here. If there's one team that I'd say right now, if you told me that Julian Lewis would decommit from Southern Cal or flip, I would say it's to Georgia. Um, him reclassifying was big. And Georgia only taking one quarterback in the last class was also big. So the more you know this is shaping up, especially if he's thinking about flipping, the more I like Georgia's chances if they can address the NIL needs and tell him, you know, explain him, hey, you've got all the talent in college football around you. Great offensive line, great stable backs behind you, tight ends, wide receivers. You have it all, and you have the ability to win a championship and get better. Setson Bennett got better under Todd Munkin and Mike Bobo. Carson Beck has gotten better under Mike Bobo. They've got the staff that can develop him. I know there's a lot of Mike Bobo haters out there, and I know there's going to be some people in the comment section saying, why are we going to go to Georgia with Mike Bobo? Mike Bobo stinks. Mike Bobo this. Mike Bobo that. He's never going to land a five-star court. It's all nonsense, and it's all been proven wrong in the past. So, yes, Julian Lewis can absolutely flip to Georgia. I can see it happening. I'm not saying it's going to, but I can see it happening. And I can see him doing very, very well under Mike Bobo. So that's the Julian Lewis scoop. Let's move on. Another five-star who was in town. Another five-star who said, I got to tell Matt to Barry about my visit was Tyler Atkinson. One of the best prospects in the country. Again, 2026, but as a sophomore for the Grayson Rams, I'm sure you've heard of him if you remotely even take in any high school football in Georgia, right? You know what Grayson is. Uh, Tyler Atkinson had close to 200 tackles last year as a sophomore playing in 7A, 25 tackles for a loss, 10 and a half sacks. He, he lived in the backfield last year. Bout sent Dylan Riola to the hospital. I, I mean, that Grayson uh, defense sacked him close to 10 times. I'm not just saying that. I was there to cover Dylan Riola. And, and Jaden Perlotti, who's a Buford linebacker, and I knew, I had to keep an eye on Tyler Atkinson, had to keep an eye on K.J. Bolden, but it, the facts are the facts. And Tyler Atkinson maybe had four or five sacks in that game alone by himself. 
He is a tremendous pass rusher. He's the number 14 overall prospect in the country for the 26th class, number two linebacker, lean, athletic. He's a big Georgia target for sure. Here's what he had to say. He said, I, a lot of things impressed me during Georgia spring practice, but I'd have to say the intensity and attention to detail impressed me the most. I was able to speak with Coach Schumann and Coach Kirby Smart a lot. They're always giving me time and great advice. Uh, I, I would too. And <laughs> if you've been covering my work for several years, I've been doing this since 2014. So this is my 10th year covering Georgia recruiting and the Georgia Bulldog football team. I know what I'm looking for. I've seen a lot of great players. And this is a guy like Julian Lewis, who I started hearing about like sixth and seventh grade. Yeah, Julian Lewis was tagging me and stuff. I'm sure his family was running his social media. In like sixth grade, I was tagging it and stuff. Tyler Atkinson was tagging me and stuff, or his family was in sixth, seventh grade. I've heard about these guys for a while, and they've lived up to the hype. Tyler Atkinson has more than lived up to the hype I heard about in middle school. He's dominating, and he is going to crush some kids as a junior and a senior. Dude still has two more years left to just attack quarterbacks left and right the next two seasons. Very good player. I think George is in a great spot. If I had to say one team that I think leads for Tyler Atkinson, uh, I would say it's Georgia. Another team, or excuse me, another guy that could be leaning Georgia's way is Zion Grady. Four-star edge defender uh, from South Alabama. I believe it's down in the Dothan area, like Southeast Alabama. Um, he's, he's a big-time prospect, one of the best pass rushers across the country in the 25 class. Former Alabama commitment has been to Georgia several times. He's high on Georgia. Uh, I asked him, I said, well, what stood out most about practice? He goes, the speed, discipline, and how physical they are stood out the most about practice. They're getting after it. They go hard in practice. And that's what a lot of people, a lot of prospects, a lot of families say. They're like, this is, this is the spring. Most teams are just kind of, not saying going through walkthroughs, but just Feeling it out, right? No, no, no. 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 George's not doing that. They've got standards. They've got championship standards. Every practice matter, um, matters. And they go out and they give it everything they have every single time, whether it's the spring or fall camp, fall practice. When they're out there with pads on, they're hitting and they're competing and they're working hard. And everyone who comes to watch these practices notices that and says the same thing to me. He said, I was able to speak with Coach Schumann several times while I was there. They're not really pitching me anything. They're just telling me that they love my skill set and they want me to come be a dog. Georgia sells itself. Uh, yes, there's always some pitch to these prospects, but some programs out there can sell themselves. And, and Georgia can sell themselves. You don't need an ace recruiter to do very well at the University of Georgia because the program and the school can sell itself. Um, but when you have an alpha recruiter and the best coach in college football also coaching this program that sells itself, that's when you can go down to South Alabama and get a guy who had 108 tackles, made 37 tackles behind the line of scrimmage, sacked the quarterback 22 times. He was the quarterback's worst nightmare last year. Uh, he's the number 59 overall prospect, number seven edge defender in the 2025 class. Big, big deal. He was in Athens again and um, you know had a lot to say. So you can read about these guys and more over on Dog Post because as you're watching this probably – there's several five stars on campus right now. Some elite offensive line prospects. The number two player in the country is in Athens right now, probably while you're watching this video, depending on the day. The number two uh, prospect in the 26th class is in Athens today. If you're watching the Saturday, um, of course, you can read more about those visitors over on Dog Post or watch the video I made a day or two ago talking about that. So, uh, again, this is a big, big week. I've been talking about it for a while now between spring practice, recruiting, prospects coming in and out. But, um, you know, Thursday was big, and these five stars made sure that uh, they got an update uh, from the Dog Post crew. And, um, you know, it's it's always a big deal when these, you know, players, they get mentioned by Dog Post. They love it. They eat it up, as they should. Um, and we're hoping to get uh, more scoop and, um, you know, notes on these guys uh, who are visiting Georgia today while you're watching this. So hope to have a lot more. But going back to the original question, I do think Georgia has a very real and legitimate chance of flipping Julian Lewis. And if that's the case, you know, you'd have, you know, starting the 25 year, you'd have a, a third, a fourth year Gunnar Stockton at that point, a second year Ryan Puglisi, and then a, uh, uh, first year freshman Julian Lewis if it all were to go that way they would probably add a fourth quarterback 
through the portal, I would imagine. But Julian Lewis is the real deal. He's committed to Southern Cal right now, but I think the dogs are, uh, it might be the team trending after a successful visit on Thursday. Thanks for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. You can uh, read more scoop, more insider details about the dogs, about recruiting over on Dog Post. You can do that by signing up to our newsletter. It's free. It's free to sign up. The link is in the bio. It's in the description. Sign up today will be the smartest thing you ever did. It takes five seconds to sign up. And again, it's free. And you can read free stories on Dog Post. The one I'm, uh, I've got in front of me right now is not free. That's a premium. Sign up for a subscription to Dog Post. And you will be the first of all your friends to get the latest Georgia Bulldog team and recruiting news. But thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you on the website.